Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed this video last night. The part where you're like, oh yeah, perfect part, and then you look yeah, out and, and you part. you watch it come out and you're like talking to yourself, you're like, yeah, what a mean part. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, no! I that was honestly, I lost it. I, I didn't know if you could. You couldn't like kind of see it, but I, I legitimately hit it dead center. Like that was yeah, yeah, the yeah. ideal part, and I think <laughs> that that was so. Annoying. It was, it was so. Awesome. In Australia, oh yeah. Like I went down, and you, like I got the mic on, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that was a sick part I made. That look back up, and I'm like, no. Hold on, I'll show you. It's so funny. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Welcome back fellow DGMs. We are here, another tournament weekend. Uh, feels like we played quite a few of these very recently. Uh, we're here at Auckland Champs, looking like an absolutely stunning day. A little bit nippy this morning, but the sun's coming out, the dew's drying off, and we are gonna have a hell of a good time. Um, this weekend, I'm really hoping for a better finish than my last two, the extreme and the, the, the Tepahui breeze. So, ideally aiming for a top 10 finish. I'd love to be on lead card. It's definitely the dream goal um, after round one this week. We've done a little bit of warm up, done some putting, done some, uh, yo, 12. Yeah, done a little bit of putting, a little bit of warming up uh, with some throws. And yeah, looking forward to absolutely crushing it. Got Henry in the background. Cheers bro, you too. Uh, starting on the full Monty. Uh, so get to absolutely rip one down the fairway, which will be good. And yeah, check back in after round one scores. Or down, nah bro, down here you want something out of stable. If you can get a nose down, it'll turn. That's all right. We'll just kill the people on the tee pad for 11. <laughs>
right, walking to the start of round two. Hole one, nice start, perfect finish. Uh, get to play a normal round here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, round one went really, really good. I ended up shooting a plus one. Made a few small mistakes during the round, but the key thing was that they were small mistakes and they would only usually cost me a stroke. And on top of that, the putting felt really good. So I was cashing some birdies. And ultimately that's sort of where I ended up, you know, a couple of birdies, couple of bogeys, plus one was the final score. Very, very happy. I think I'm seventh at the moment in MA2. Um, Ben's got me by six strokes. So we will be looking to uh, try and correct the deficit. Um, I'm not filming every hole that we play just because it's annoying. and I don't want to be like wasting time, especially when there's backup. So you'll see a few of the different holes from round two. Um, but yeah, we'll check in once these are done. Well, round two is done and dusted. I chose to drive home and have a shower after rather than do the round review like right there on the course. Uh, for two reasons. One, I am absolutely knackered. Really just wanted a shower and a sit down. Um, and two, I kind of needed to process that round because unfortunately we did not play as well. Uh, I ended up shooting plus seven uh, in round two and I just didn't stick to the game plan. I don't really know, uh, I don't really know what went wrong. There were a few times where I definitely ran stuff I probably should have just laid up and then missed the comebacker. Uh, I think it also just comes down to like the physical toll that two uh, full 18s on a course like that um, takes on you. I did just shy of uh, 20,000 steps today and yeah quite frankly I like I say I'm absolutely shattered. I am gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Game plan for round two sort of sat on the couch just now and had a look at some of the holes that I think I can birdie. Places where I can be aggressive and be be aggressive off the tee obviously you know we have to assess during the round whether or not we're gonna be aggressive but I'm gonna try that out tomorrow be aggressive on the holes that I think I can birdie and really try and shoot a hot round. Mixed weather uh, reports coming in for tomorrow. Some saying that it's really hot uh, and some saying that it's really windy. Some saying that they're definitely gonna get rain by like 12 o'clock, 1 p.m. Uh, so we could be in for quite the round depending on on what actually comes of those reports. But I will check in with you tomorrow before the round and hopefully get some more shots and improve on my place. I think I'm currently like middle of the pack now. I'm probably like 20, 20th, maybe like somewhere around there, like 18th. So not where I wanna be, especially not after round one, but we, uh, we go again tomorrow and I'll catch you then. to the course nice and early rugby's on hasn't quite finished yet they managed to get here and who do i see already practicing it's your boy second in ma2 at the moment but we know he's going to be first by the end of the weekend he seems to have lost the disc in a tree though so <laughs> oh dear thrown his putting putter over the fence not not a strong start do you have to climb it or can you just go around yeah yeah there'll, there'll be a pass curve turn it around so you can see boom go the <laughs> spring box <laughs> oh <laughs> dirty now i don't want you to win they were leading when i left we shake it maybe yeah i know oh. that you got it no uh they're traveling up from dunedin to auckland with a new camper van that they purchased welcome back to day three uh, it's going to be a tough one today. We already have winds gusting to from 20 to 35 kilometers per hour and they reckon that that's going to get up during our round to 100 kilometer an hour gusts, maintaining somewhere between 30 and 40 kilometers per hour. So it's going to be tough out there. 
You're gonna need to lean on some of the overstable discs today. I made a little bit of a game plan last night that I, that I talked about. That's gonna come down to the fact that I think that I can birdie potentially 11 holes. If I look at getting half of those, 5.5 sort of thing, and then maybe like, you know, your 3.5, your 4.5 bogeys, I'm gonna be very, very happy with anything close to a minus one, an even minus one or minus two today. That's my goal. That's what we're setting out to do. Um, there isn't really anything on the line for me to play for in terms of placing. Um, so I just want to get that out there for some pride. Uh, I've warmed up the putt already and now I'm just going to go and throw into the field for a little bit, get the arm nice and loose and make sure that uh, there isn't any pain. I spent a little bit of pain yesterday from the forehand and I'm hoping uh, a nice rest has done uh, wonders. Game on. All right, one minute warning. Good luck, good luck. Oh, go on. Straight skip. Lovely. Oh! <laughs> that would have been a way to start the tournament. Love it that you talk that talk, baby. Flip up that Heiser. And that's a wrap. As you can probably tell from my haircut, this actually hasn't been filmed uh, the moment after 
We finished the tournament. Uh, this has been filmed multiple weeks later. Um, unfortunately, I think I came home, lay down for five minutes and was fast asleep until Monday morning. Uh, so whilst we did get a lot of sleep, uh, we didn't unfortunately film the round and the tournament recap uh, right when I wanted to. Uh, but nevertheless, the third round was very interesting. Obviously a lot more weather at play and ultimately that did show on the scorecard. I shot a plus five this round, which I was pretty happy with until I came into the clubhouse and I saw that a lot of other people that I was sort of competing with actually shot one, two, three strokes better than I did. So, unfortunate way to finish, but we did finish with an 876 rated round. I came in 11th, one spot out of the goal for the weekend. Um, and whilst round three's uh, score prediction didn't go to plan, um, the game plan did and I managed to get quite a few birdies this round uh, without being uh, ultra, ultra aggressive. Looking back on the whole tournament, I had a great time. Uh, unfortunately in 2022 I couldn't play this tournament because of work commitments, uh, so getting out before the tournament this year was absolutely amazing. Um, and I will definitely be back to play it as many years as it's being put on. Uh, the course is phenomenal and it is a real, real shame that it's not a permanent course, uh, but I do understand why. We had multiple incidents throughout the weekend with either close calls, or park users not knowing what was happening, um, slash just being oblivious to, you know, discs that were, that were flying at them. Um, and it meant that it was a little bit dangerous for those people around us. Uh, we could possibly mitigate that in the future and I think the Auckland Club do a pretty good job as it is um, informing people um, even if the uh, Mont Cecilia Park uh, didn't grant them access to the tournament until the very last minute um, but there, there, are, there are certain things we can do but uh, ultimately the tournament was incredibly well run I want to thank uh, Ryan and the club for once again putting on an incredible tournament I had a great time a shout out to Ben from the Aces for getting uh, a win here. Uh, he's been pushing and pushing and pushing in MA2, um, and this really sort of solidified the fact that I think he is going to be an MA1 player from now on. So yeah, congratulations mate. So, so happy for you. To everyone else that I saw out there, to the people that I met for the first time, to friends that I've seen and caught up with. Um, yeah, thank you guys for making it such an incredible time, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.